Okay, this is how we open Pratt and make a recording with Pratt. First, find the Pratt icon. It's the one with the pink lips and ear. And open Pratt. When you open Pratt, a Pratt Objects window opens and a Pratt Picture window opens. But we don't need the Pratt Picture window in this course, so you can close the Pratt Picture window. Now we have the Pratt Objects window open and here you will see a list of objects. Now there are no objects, but when we open an object it may be a sound object or it may be some other kind of object. Let's try recording now. So we go to, there's two menus up here, new and open. If we have a sound file already we can open and read from file. But since we have no sound file, we want to record a new sound file. We go to New, and it looks like there are two choices here for recording a new sound. Mono sound and stereo sound. For our purposes in this course, um, we can record a mono sound. That's enough, and the file size is a little bit smaller. So click on Record Mono Sound. And here you see the sound recorder window pops up. And there are many different sampling frequencies, but I think 44,100 hertz, 44.1 kilohertz, is a fine sampling frequency for us to use. Now I'm using my home computer right now, so the input source is built in microphone, but yours will be different in the iLab classrooms. So let me now click on record. Good morning, my name is Ian Wilson. I click on stop then after I finish reading or after I finish speaking. And now I can give it a title, that file. So I'm going to call it just Wilson. And now I can save to list this one here, save to list. Once I do that, you see that now I have a Pratt object. I have a sound object in my list. This is the first object, number one, sound object, and the title of this object is Wilson. Now, this sound just exists in my Pratt objects list right now. It doesn't exist on my computer. It's not a saved sound. So if I want to save this sound here, I can click Save and then save as WAV file or some other type of sound file. In this class, let's use save as WAV file. So I click on save as WAV file and then I can choose where I want to save it. I'll save it here on the desktop. So desktop and wilson.wave, that's fine as, my, as, as a name for my sound file. So when I click save, now you notice this WAV file is created on my desktop here. Now I have the sound here on my desktop and it won't disappear. Even if I close Pratt, the sound is still here. Okay, now how can we look at this sound and how can we make some measurements? Well, first if I click on View and Edit, if I have this sound selected and I click on View and Edit, then this View and Edit window pops up. Now this is my sound here. If I want to play it, I can play using uh, by clicking on any of these bars down here at the bottom of the window. So let me click on the total duration bar. This total duration says 4.7 seconds. This whole sound file is 4.7 seconds. Okay, so let me click on it and what it does Good morning. is it... My name is Ian Wilson it then plays the sound, okay, and you should be able to hear it if you're wearing your headphones, um, you'll be able to hear the sound when you play your sound. Um, if I click on the visible part right now, Good morning. the My same name thing is happens Wilson. because the visible part is the same as the total duration. If I click on this bar here, it will just play the first half of this sound file. Good morning. My name is if I click on this one, Ian Wilson, it'll play the second half of the sound file. Okay. 
Now, uh, I can zoom in on this sound file as well. If I select, click, and release, select some sound. Now I want to zoom in on this selection. I can click this one here, zoom to selection. S-E-L means selection. Okay, this selected part. So I zoom to the selected part like this. This is the selected part. So now the total duration is the same, the total duration of my sound file, but the visible part, the one on the screen here, is only 0 0.7 seconds. And if I want to play only the visible part, I can click this bar here. Good morning. Good morning. Okay. Good morning. I can play it as many Good times morning. as I want. I can also play the whole file by clicking on total duration. Good morning. My name is Ian Wilson. Okay. Now, if I go back, if I want to see the whole sound file again, I can click all and go back to the whole sound file. I can zoom in on another area like this. Okay. I can go back. I can zoom in on any area I want. Okay. Now, in and out, these are zooming into the center, okay, the center. So if I click the zoom in, it zooms in to the center of my recording. Okay, if I zoom out, it zooms out in steps from the center. Okay, and this is a, a back button. Okay, so that's how to uh, play sounds and how to record them. Uh, good luck using Pratt. I'll close this window, and here's my sound file. I'll close the sound recorder window. And now, when I close Pratt as well, when I quit Pratt, yes, I want to quit Pratt, I still have my sound file here. If I want to open this sound file, I can right-click or control-click and open with Pratt. And this sound is now still here. Okay, I can close the Pratt picture window. And now, if I view this sound, it's the same sound as I recorded before. Okay, that's all for an introduction to Pratt.